Welcome to the MyIT Service Broker Service Onboarding video, where we'll be taking a closer look at the four different ways to add a service to Service Broker. If you remember from the overview video, we mentioned adding services as an internal or external user, importing a service from a catalog via an existing connector, and finally sourcing content from the BMC Marketplace. We'll start by creating a new service and adding it manually. This can be done in either of two ways, as an external or an internal supplier. The process for both are identical. First, we need to provide a service name, type, and a version number. Once we've done this, we're provided with a blank template. This will become the catalog profile for this service. This template allows you to provide content specific to the service that an end user can leverage to determine if the service is right for them. And since this service is being created manually, a connector needs to be created and provided with the service submission. Once complete, it is saved and made available for review by an administrator. The third and fourth methods to onboard a service require administrator privileges and service broker. A service can be imported from an existing catalog. Simply select the catalog, choose an existing service from the catalog, assign it to one of the templates, and then select it for import. Once imported, it is available in the queue for management and publishing. Finally, we can source any of the content available from the BMC Marketplace. As with importing, once source, it is available in the queue for management and publishing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to look for more videos in our Service Broker series.